Now we're going to look at two deciduous conifers, and that may seem a little bit strange, but there are a series of conifers that shed their needles in the winter. Now, uh, we're going to look at two larch species. This is European larch, Larix decidua, and very distinctive, and I think quite an easy species to identify. The larches tend to hold their needles in a rosette pattern, almost like a sea anemone here. You can see them, if I just rotate that round, you can see these little bundles, these little bursts of needles around the stem. All of the larches will shed these needles in the autumn. So at the moment they look relatively bright green by about early October through to November. They'll start to change colour and go to a sort of gold and then a sulphur yellow colour and then they'll drop all their needles and they'll look like bare stems during the winter. The other way of identifying um, larch is with their cones. Now the cones tend to be relatively short, multi-layered like all of the cones and held very close to the stem. Now this is European larch, Larix decidua, and if you look at the cones, the cone sections are relatively upright. Now we'll contrast that with the next larch species that we're going to look at in a moment, but that's the European larch cone. In terms of timber properties, the larches have some really useful characteristics. They're a bit slower growing than some of the firs and the spruces, but the heartwood of larch in particular tends to be sought after for its stability, stays straight when it's cut, and for its durability. That means it will last quite a long time uh, when, it's, uh, when it's sawn and dried. Uh, even in contact with the ground or in contact with water, if it's seasoned correctly, it will last many years. So larch has a series of really positive timber characteristics which generally make it a sought after timber. The big problem with larch in the UK at the moment, I'm afraid, is another disease problem. There's uh, a pathogen called Phytophthora P. remorum, Phytophthora remorum, which is badly affecting larch, particularly Japanese larch, which we'll look at in a moment. And it started in the southwest of England and has now swept through pretty much all of the UK to make uh, uh, what well, to cause some really serious problems with our, our larch population. This is the second of our larch species, and this is Japanese larch, Larix kempferii. Uh, it's got that familiar rosette pattern to the needles, and again, like European larch, it will change colour, it will go through the autumn colour changes and shed its needles in the winter. To distinguish it from European larch, which we've previously seen, it's worth having a look at the cones. And if I just remove this Japanese larch cone, I'll hold it in profile there, you can see it's got that same relatively short structure, but the individual sections of the cones flare outwards. So it's, it's a little bit different from the European larch cone. The other way of identifying uh, the two different larches is to look at the stem colour. And it's quite difficult at this time of year because it's still got all the needles on. But if you look at it relatively carefully, you can see that the stem colour on the Japanese larch, if I just peel back some of these needles, it's quite dark and it's got a sort of darkish brown, almost purple bloom to it. And that becomes more acute as the autumn and winter conditions come in. So Japanese larch has cones with sections that flare outwards and has a darker brown slash almost purple colour to its stems. And we'll just have a look now at European larch and try and contrast it in terms of stem colour. So this is European larch, and again if we strip some of the needles off you can see that the stem colour is much paler than the Japanese. So this is European larch, it's got pale stems to it, and it's almost a straw colour on this year's growth. And as we move towards the autumn and winter, the differentiation between the European and the Japanese will become easier with this stem colour, because the Japanese larch stems will get darker darker brown, almost purple, and the European larch stems will stay straw-coloured. <laughs>